What's going on guys? Mr. Acolyte here, coming at you with another match review. We are back on the group stage matches of Group B. This time we have Garlic Bread versus Wade. So both players running the teams you would most likely expect. I can see that Wade's got that B assist there for Cell. That's one you gotta watch out for. Garlic's got that A assist with Krillin. Definitely one you gotta watch out for. This should be interesting. So we got the big anti-zoning team on the right versus an actual zoning team on the left. Let's see how this goes. Wade already with the first opening. Super Dash is gonna get him the corner. Ooh, 50-50, yeah. Well, I mean, we've talked about it a lot, but yeah. Kefless Oki here is just crazy. This catches up tech and back tech and allows you to Super Dash off of it. Super Dash into that cell B, giving you a 50-50. Causes Garlic to go ahead and spark there, get him out of that situation. No way, that was insane. He did 6-H into tag. He reflected it, jumped back, and jabbed the tag. That's insane. I've never seen anyone do that before. I've never seen anyone do that before. Level three. Oh, and the empty low. The empty low Wade is trying to win this. He's not going to be able to kill off of this. He has to get one more mix here. And the Dragon Rush does go through. Ginyu is not going to get to play this time. So the point war is going to Wade. It is up to Baby to close some of this gap. Ooh, Krillin, nice. The rocks. The rock assist is so good. Oh, that was beautiful. That was a that was a beautiful stagger. He even reacted to the reflect. I love that. Because uh baby's 5M goes really far. That was a really nice reaction to the reflect whiff. Ooh, but the optimal does drop there, so he's not gonna be able to get the kill. Ooh, and then he punished with super here. This was a smart way to get Kefla out while being able to safely tag in. And he got himself a nice little punish there. Because fun fact, if you hit a raw level one, it actually does do a very good deal of damage, especially if you're able to DHC it. And it's not blue life. Un unlike a raw level three, raw level ones do not do all blue life. So anytime you can tag out like that, it's definitely worth it. Ooh, the rocks. He must have been trying to jump out. All right, we're going for the optimization station here. That combo is so cool. Lots of meter built. We have seven bars to play with here. We're going to go for the invisible mix. Literally cannot see anything here. What are you going to do? Ooh, he wakes up reflect and then sparks. Ooh, this is scary. This is scary. Lab coat pressure in spark. Oh, the stubby man. The stubby, stumpy man here. He reflected and then 2 h but man, it's most likely because Wade did not press a button. If he had pressed a button, it would have extended his hurt box a little bit, but the fact that he dashed and pressed anything is most likely why that didn't touch him. Pretty smart on both players' parts. They both did the right thing there. And then finally, Garlic blocked everything, but you cannot block a command grab. Level three. What's the mix? Nice. That, oh, man, that was a really good use of defensive options there. So he did guard cancel vanish to get out of the 50-50. And then recognizing that he was negative here, he did the EX Zanzokin, which is, you know, invul partway through the animation. So boom. Ice skates, super dash. Jeez, they're just there was just so much pressure going on there. This felt like an infinite turn. Man, Cell's level one actually gives pretty decent Oki because of the wall bounce. Like they added the wall bounce so that he can do level three. 
And because of that, he actually gets pretty good Oki off of that. I've, I haven't seen a lot of players utilize it, but the fact that you have to bounce off the wall and then you basically come up off the ground like normal, that's a pretty good Oki assist now. Wow, and th there it goes. My favorite move. Sheesh, man. <laughs> Perfect attack. Man, I I really do not like Perfect Attack. To editorialize for a moment, I do not like Perfect Attack at all. <laughs> then the man down, level three, putting a lot of extra damage here and some setup. But you gotta watch out for the perfect attack. Oh, nice. That Those were big mind games. So Wade already shows that he knows the baby matchup. He knows what baby wants to do. So right here, Garlic, this was actually Galaxy Brain. He faked the command grab. He did LL delay and then just did LL again. And most likely, as you can see, it says counter there. So most likely Wade tried to hit a button to knock him out of the command grab, but he ended up getting counter hit. That was super smart. Super smart, and he built a lot of bar off of that. Here comes the pressure, jumping out. This is going to be scary because, again, Baby cannot throw Key Blast freely at Lab Coat. The spin could be coming at any moment. That's why you can see Garlic is being very careful here. Wow, that was nice. That was very nice. A lot of meter coming up. Man, these routes are ridiculous. And he killed off of that. Oh, my God. God, bro, that was like crazy that he actually killed off of that. That's insane. That is insane. Maximum baby. Super baby mastery right there. Oh, oh my God. And the clonk. The clonk comes in. <laughs> the clonk at the last minute. Mm, that's not gonna kill. He gets one more chance. He gets one more chance. Oh, and the 2H. The 2H at the last minute. He had already recovered from the ground pound, so he was able to get that in there. All right, we're going into game two here. Let's see what the adaptation is. Game two is always the most interesting because you get to see what kind of changes in play style the players make, and things are already looking different as Garlic now has the opening, and look at the meter build. My goodness gracious. <laughs> I, I love the I love the standing there menacingly, just waiting for them to get up. It's like, okay, I know you're gonna I know you're delaying your wake up. I'm just gonna wait. I'm not gonna whiff. I'm not gonna give you a turn. I'm gonna chill. You're gonna have to spark. Oh man, this happened to Garlic in the last match too, right there. Yeah, he tried to jab. Man, yeah, jabbing super dashes is is really really good. It just sucks when it doesn't go through. Baby's jab is very, very good against Super Dash. It's just that the timing can be tricky depending on like the angle and like the distance. Whoa, perfect attack into the roller coaster. Nice blocks, 50-50. Nice ID there. Gotta watch out for the perfect attack, it's coming. Whoa. Whoa, that could have been a punish if he would have covered, would have recovered a little bit sooner. That was almost a punish. That's the only time you can punish. Perfect attack is when it whiffs. If it whiffs, 
then he doesn't disappear and he lands with recovery. But if it interacts with anything, like if he if you block it, then you know he becomes completely safe. The problem is you can almost never make it with because it travels so far. And yeah, you're plus right here, but not really because perfect attack. <laughs> Somebody, we need we need to ban perfect attack, bro. We need to ban that move. It is a medium starter DP that leads to pressure on block. And Ginyu is dead once again. Dang. It's gonna be up to Baby to try to bring it back here. There we go. He got it that time. I like that. He said, I'm not going to give up. He said, I'm not going to give up. Nice vanish right there. I also like the beam extension there, too. There we go. We're going for the optimization station. Optimization station. I respect that about Garlic is the fact that even when he's down, like, even when everything's on the line, like, he's behind in a tournament, and he's still going for the optimals. Oh, my goodness, dude. Oh, my goodness, brother, please. Because look at this. Garlic is now doing 2LL because he's afraid to get perfect attacked, right? So he does 2LL, nothing, perfect attack comes out. It leads to a mix-up, dude. A DP! That leads to a mix-up. And then he runs up and does it again. Perfect attack into assist. And again, leads to a mix-up. He's able to cover himself with the assist. My goodness, bro. This character... This character is so broken, brother. So broken. And now here comes the Krill Man. Oh, that was a good punish. That was a really good punish. Super dash punish on the whiffed beam. Oh, what happened right there? Oh, he tried to wake up back dash. Most likely gonna level three with Cell here. Get the, get the mix. Oh no, we're going with Lab Coat. Side switch into lab coat. Ugh, this is ugly. He can go high, low, left, right. He can steal the corner here. Ugh, scary. Reminder that solar flare is air involve frame one. And it is minus two. Very, very good move. Nice. You literally can't see. You literally cannot see. Boom. Oh, oh my god. That was godlike. That was godlike. That's exactly what I was talking about. It's the only way to punish perfect attacks if it completely whiffs, but it's hard to make it whiff. But Krillin's small man hurt box for once came in handy. It actually did whiff him, and then he reacted with the back dash. That was goaded, bro. Ah, uh, what a drop. Oh. Uh, I feel pain. I feel pain. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Oh man. That one hurts. <laughs> now I'm, I'm not. I'm not biased. You know, Wade. Wade is goaded. He's 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 a goat. But man, that that hurts, man. So a big thing in this final game was definitely combo drops. Like Garlic had two really big drops in this final game that definitely changed the tide. 
of how the battle went, especially at the end. But I think like the first major turning point was right here when he, he didn't get the punish on this perfect attack. I mean, cause again, it's super, super difficult to punish. Like even if he does whiff, he recovers almost instantly. So it's very, very hard to punish it, but it definitely switched everything up right here when he did discard cancel vanish. Right here he is plus, but he had the gall to take his turn. He's plus three right here, right? Plus three. He hits a button, not even an unsafe button, just a 5L, and boom, he gets perfect attack, and that leads to the death of him. So, yeah, just the fact that Cell literally cannot be attacked in this version of the game, I just think, again, is super insane. Like, in all my years playing fighting games, I've never seen a DP that does what perfect attack does to where it is a combo on hit, and a mix up on block. I've, I've never seen that. Usually a DP is like super unsafe, you know, when you block it, but has some sort of like get off me factor. But the thing used to be that you could tag it with normal buttons, but the fact that normal grounded buttons no longer beat it pretty much makes it a move that's like almost unstoppable. Again, the only way to really stop it is to make it whiff, but making a whiff is nearly impossible because it has so much forward momentum because it hits forward and upward. So you basically have to like jump forward. As you see right here, Garlic is baiting it. Like he does the right thing here of like trying to bait it out, but baiting it out doesn't really mean anything because when you do bait it, it gives the opponent a turn. So, you know, this started Wade's offense and you know, it led, it led to him, you know, getting some big damage here. So, but again, I wanna make sure none of this is to take away from Wade. I'm not trying to say that like, oh, Wade is carried or anything. Like, I don't believe that at all. I think Wade is one of the best, you know, in the business. And I mean, he proved that many, many times. I mean, you don't need me to say that. I think he's a phenomenal player. I, I'm just commenting on like the character of Cell. Like a lot of people are using Cell. Like this isn't me trying to say, oh, Wade wouldn't have won without, without Cell. That, that's not like what I'm saying at all. I think he's fantastic. Both players are, this was really, really good games. I'm, again, I'm not trying to take anything away from anybody. It's, it's all analyzing the situations, but yeah, either way, this was a good one and I'm looking forward to seeing what happens in the next set. And with that, we have reached the end of the review. Thanks so much for listening, guys. We're gonna continue on with these group stage matches. I think the next one is Wade versus Econ to end out group B. And then after that, we will be going on to group C. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of the action. Leave a like if you enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.